Welcome to the featured video of Role-Based Tax for WooCommerce. With this extension, you can adjust your tax rates within a country or state based on user roles. Not only can you adjust tax rates, you can also customize your tax display settings based on user roles. Adjust your product tax class to add user role and assign specific tax classes to specific user roles. Now let's go to the back end and see how this extension works. Go to WooCommerce and click on Role Based Tax. Here you can see the Tax Rates and Tax Settings tab. Let's go to the Tax Rates tab. The extension will automatically fetch and list the tax rates created in WooCommerce tax settings. If you haven't added any tax rates yet, we recommend adding them from WooCommerce settings. Since we have already added tax rates, let's click on Edit Rule-Based Tax to adjust rates for specific tax row based on user roles. Select the user roles for which you want to adjust tax rates. Customize tax name. Add rate. Mark tax as a compound and exclude or include shipping cost and tax. The default behavior will follow the existing setting that you have configured for this tax row. Let's add a 5% rate for NGOs here and see how the different rate works on the front end. You can see that for the standard customers, 20% tax is applied, whereas for NGOs, the rate has been reduced to 5%. Let's see how you can customize the tax display settings. Click on Add Rule Settings to create a new rule. Add Rule Title here. Select the user role to apply this rule to. Customize the price and tax display settings on Shop, Cart, and Checkout pages. Add user role specific price suffix and choose the display tax as total or itemized on the cart page. If the default option is selected, the extension will use the setting configured in WooCommerce Tax Options tab. Let's customize some tax display settings for B2B user roles. Customize the price and tax display setting. Add user role specific price suffix. You can create multiple rules to configure different settings for different user roles. You can see the prices are now displayed exclusive of tax, and the suffix is displayed for B2B customers only, whereas the rest of the customers don't see a different price suffix along with the prices inclusive of tax as configured in WooCommerce tax settings. Let's go to the back end and see how you can customize the product's tax class based on user roles. Edit any product and navigate to Role Based Tax. You can select the user roles here for which you want to customize tax classes. You can adjust both tax status and tax class based on user roles. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.